Hey guys, Brandon here with Exotic Cars 19, bringing you guys another video on how to drive stick shift. I say another because a year, maybe a year and a half ago or so, I made a video titled How to Drive a Manual Car or Stick Shift or whatever I titled it. And um, I'm just recreating that video because, well, it's been over a year since then, so I learned a couple new things. But overall, my information then was pretty good. Uh, I had some good tips and tricks that people liked, but my video execution was pretty horrible. I made it at night, and it just wasn't a great video. I, I filmed it all with the GoPro, so it sounded like I was underwater. I'm filming with my DSLR now. I, I also do have the GoPro with me just so I could get like, some tight shot of the feet, but I don't know how I'm going to do that while driving. Might not even do that. But anyway, just want to kind of recreate that video with better information uh, because I think with anything uh, when you're learning, especially stick shift, uh, or for example, stick shift, uh, repetition is great. So you could watch this video, you could go watch another uh, person explain on YouTube. Um, so, and, and it's not going to be redundant. You're going to hear someone else say, say their tip or, or tricks on how they learn to drive stick shift and then you hear someone else. And, uh, and that's what I did. I, I took it from a lot of different people. Everyone kind of said it differently, but then it all kind of comes down to when you actually get in the manual car and you try it yourself, it's going to be frustrating, but stay, just stay patient. I've been driving a manual car for about nearly three years now and I do not regret learning. The first week I started learning, it was very frustrating and I thought it's okay, I'll just drive manual cars for the rest of my life. And then that would not have made me a car guy. So uh, thankfully I didn't do that. Some of you guys watching, you guys probably don't know one single thing about a manual transmission car. And a lot of you guys probably know a lot of it, but you're again, trying to get some more repetition and hear something else. Uh, this intro has gone a little bit too long, so I'll just go straight into it. What I'm gonna do is show you guys how to drive a stick shift car starting from zero. If you don't know anything about manual transmission, I'm going to try to teach you in the course of this video. Uh, and I'll try, I'll try not to make this video too terribly long, but excuse me if it is because it's a lot to go over as you guys know. Um, but yeah, we'll just go over this. This is the uh, 2015 Subaru BRZ uh, Series Blue. Um, and, and this specific car has a uh, six speed manual transmission. And I'll go ahead and hold the camera and ca uh, kind of show you guys around this car and explain everything from scratch. All right, so here we are inside the uh, manual transmission BRZ. If you look under here, it looks like we have four pedals. Uh, that's not the case. Uh, if you guys, and again, like I said, I'm gonna start from absolutely scratch, like zero knowledge. So if you guys know a little bit, stay with me. Might be a little uh, too redundant, but uh, just stay patient. And, uh, and I'll just start from scratch if you guys don't know anything. So yeah, not four pedals. We have three. This is a dead pedal. It's just where you rest your left foot. All your left foot does is, is uh, rest there and activate the clutch. Uh, we'll explain more on that later. Right foot, that's gas and brake. So right there, that's pretty much, these three, the dead pedal and the brake and, cl and clutch is like an automatic. Uh, new to the manual is the clutch. Clutch is engaged when you want the car to kind of simulate being in neutral. Um, and, uh, and, and also when you change gears. So right now we are in first gear. Uh, here, hopefully, maybe I could block the sun here. I don't know where it is. Uh, I can show you guys, so reverse. First gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. Some cars are a four speed, five speed. Uh, this one is a six, pretty common. And then some are even becoming seventh speeds, like the new Corvettes and some of the manual transmission uh, Porsche. They're also being seven speeds, not that that matters. But anyway, I'll go ahead and I cannot move it, or at least it's not good for it. I'm not taking it out of gear, first gear, unless clutch is engaged. So I'm just gonna, out of habit, I like to press on the brake whenever I activate the clutch. It's just kind of a habit thing, it's kind of a safe thing. We're gonna go ahead and activate the clutch all the way down, and then we could go ahead and move it to the center. And then we're off the clutch. When it's in the center, you know it's there because you can move it left and right without activating the clutch. That is neutral. That's going to let the car roll on its own. And uh, and yeah, it's pretty much neutral in an automatic car as well. Uh, it's not in the gear, so you pretty much off the brake and gas. This thing could roll if I did not have the e-brake up. Uh, but I do have it up, so we're not rolling. Uh, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and put the foot back on the clutch, and I'll just walk you through the gears. Here is first gear all the way to the left and up. The reason it's not going into reverse because this specific car has this little you know thing here and then you could put it in reverse some of them it's the reverse is down here 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 just look at the pattern but anyway clutch is down so first second and then just push it goes back to the center just by pushing up and then third then straight down fourth and then center all the way to the right and up that's fifth and then keeping it to the right go down that is sixth gear and then back to neutral and then we could go off the clutch um, so when you're parking just, I know we're kind of going ahead here, but when you're parking, uh, go ahead and put the e-brake up. And just to be safe, if this were to fail, 
uh, just to give you a little bit more stability uh, or uh, safety, I guess, when parking. Get the foot down on the clutch, put it in first, and then you can turn the car off um, and then let off the clutch and brake, and then you're good to go. So anyway, starting up a manual transmission car, I'll just kind of walk you guys through it. I, I think the best thing to do here is just to kind of go for a drive and explain what I'm doing. And I'll give you guys a couple little tricks that I learned uh, that helped me along the way. So starting up a manual transmission car when you are in first and your brakes up, is you just put your foot on the brake and clutch. You go ahead and start it up. And then make sure that you are in neutral, like we are, before letting off the clutch. Now we can go ahead and let off and we're on the dead pedal. And then I'm gonna also get my foot off the brake and we're still in place because of the e-brake. If I let this e-brake go, and then let off the brake, we are rolling ever so slightly, as you guys can see. So we'll go ahead and go back on the brake, up on the e-brake. If I were to turn it off, I would just, uh, you know, put the clutch in, turn it off, put it in first, or, you know, clutch in first and then turn it off. Doesn't really matter. Um, but anyway, as you guys hear a lot, to get rolling in a manual transmission car, this is where I'm going to kind of give you guys a little tip that helped me. Uh, just excuse me while I set the camera there. We're always told uh, to uh, when start when starting to roll in a manual transmission car, to let off the the clutch and put on brake at the same time. While that is fundamentally what you are supposed to do, um, I learned a little tip uh, for that as well. If this is the first time ever in a manual transmission car, like at all, what I would do is when you're when you're flat, we're kind of on a downhill here. When you're flat, get put the brake on, put the e-brake down, and then put it in first, and then slowly uh, get off the, the brake with your foot, and then slowly release the clutch until you feel the car start to bite a little bit. We'll go ahead and go in the street and demonstrate that now, just in case it's not, uh, you know, clicking in your head. We'll put it in the real world so maybe you guys can tell. Okay, we're now on a relatively level surface. So what you are going to do, we are now idling. E-brake's down because my right foot is on the brake and we are in neutral. Go ahead and put the clutch in, put it in first, and then let off the brake here. And then we're kind of rolling just a little bit backwards. What I'm going to do is slowly release the clutch until the car starts to bite. And we're going to lose RPMs here. And then now it's engaged to where we're barely rolling, but the car needs some gas to supply it there. So we're going to go ahead and give it a little bit of gas. And then by doing that, now we're rolling a little bit. Okay, so if you do that enough times where you are letting off the clutch and not putting down gas until you start to feel it pull, if you do that enough times, that's how you're gonna really get a feel for the clutch. And I know that kind of sounds a bit repetitive. You probably heard that a lot, get a feel for the transmission or clutch or the car, uh, but it's very, very true. So just put it all down all the way, put it in first, start rolling by simply letting off the clutch very slowly and you're going to feel it to where the car goes from pretty much being in neutral uh, because the clutch was engaged to to uh, getting into gear once you do that your the next step is pretty easy or easier anyway so when you're really starting to uh, trying to get going clutch in first gear and then like i said well actually here i'll, I'll just take it back put him back in neutral uh we were all kind of told to you know release the clutch and put gas down at the same time well, what really, really uh, frustrated me was I couldn't really get that done right. And one big uh, tip that I'll share with you guys now that it's like, uh, I don't know, just it was a, a new stepping stone, I guess. I don't know how to say it, but it was uh, it was one of the be uh, best tips I got. And uh, so you put it in first and instead of applying gas at the same time, you, you let go of the brake. I'm sorry, the, uh, start uh, releasing the clutch. You actually put some gas down first to where the RPMs goes up a little bit and then start to slowly release the clutch. Okay, you, can, you guys can't really tell, but we're rolling now. So I know I kind of stuttered there and I couldn't really make a full sentence, so I'll try to say it again. Instead of doing what you're always told to do from other like reviews or from other uh, tutorials and putting down gas at the same time you release the clutch, instead, put it in first, and then release the brake and give it gas immediately, not too much, just a little bit to give it, you know, some more of a safety net to roll forward, uh, forward some more. So I hope you guys know what I mean by that. So if you guys aren't giving it enough gas, the car will stall 
and I know I haven't said that word yet in a uh, tutorial about manual transmissions because I want you guys to avoid stalling as much as possible. It's going to happen. It's okay. But uh, one big tip that's going to avoid that or help avoiding stalling is back and first with the clutch in, standing still. Give it some gas right when you get off the brake here. As you guys can see right there, give it a little bit of gas and then start releasing the clutch. And then we start rolling so much easier rather than trying to find the fine line of where's the right balance. That giving it gas beforehand will save you guys uh, big time. Um, that's what I found, and once you start doing that, your your get offs are much much smoother. And it's just trying to uh, you know balance the right amount of clutch and gas. But that is a big big uh, help for me, at least it was. Um, but anyway, you guys can probably tell that getting going is the toughest part about driving a manual transmission. Once you're off, it's a lot easier. Um, but yeah, that's just getting going. So uh, pretty much once you're able to do that, my biggest tip from there. I don't think the lighting is going to be that good, I just realized, but my biggest tip from there, once you could get going, is to keep doing that. Don't even bring it to second gear yet. Just spend a whole day, even, in a big parking lot somewhere and just roll. Go from a standstill to rolling and fully out of the clutch, back to a standstill, do it again and again, and that's the biggest uh, part. And and also, if, looking at this driveway, my driveway here, it's not a steep hill, but it's steep enough to where you can roll. That's one thing that also helped me a ton when learning. I went straight to a hill. I went straight to a hill that got a lot of rollback to where I could roll back so far and I won't hit anything. And by trying there, all of a sudden when I went to flat surface, it was so much easier. So go to speed bumps, go to little uh, you know obstacles like that, hills, uh, speed bumps, something where you're not gonna back into anybody else. Uh, and go with someone that knows how to drive stick shift so they could get you out of uh, the bottom of the hill if you make it down there, if you know what I mean. Um, so I learned with my dad. My dad brought me to a really, really steep hill and he knew how to drive. Uh, and I kept trying to roll out of there. I kept stalling. And by the time we got to the bottom of the hill, he would drive me back up. And then I would keep trying from there. All of a sudden, we went back to flat surface. It was so much easier. It was insane. Um, if you don't have a hill that you can roll back a lot or you don't have anyone that knows how to drive stick shift, you're just kind of trying on your own in your driveway or whatever, get going first one more time guys clutch in put it in first gear already off the brake give it some gas rpms are going to go up and then start releasing and we are off and going and then slowly from there a little bit more uh, gas and a little less clutch all the way off the clutch now and now we're rolling back on the clutch off the gas on the brakes and we could just coast like we're neutral because the clutch is engaged and we are back at a standstill in a neutral or in neutral and then off the clutch. I hope that made sense. I'm gonna go ahead and reposition the camera to where we could just drive and I'll explain to you guys what I'm doing. All right, so I repositioned the camera. Uh, I know the angle is not the best. I just kinda wanted to get uh, enough in frame, especially the gear lever, uh, lever here. Uh, tongue twister, shouldn't be, but anyway. And I know the colors aren't the best. And I think they're about to get a lot worse. It's just a weird time of day, but hopefully I can pop them out in Final Cut, make it look a little bit better. But uh, hopefully it works good enough. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is go cruise around in my in my uh, neighborhood here. Low speeds, I'm barely, I don't even think I'm gonna get into fourth gear. Um, but I'm just gonna explain what I'm doing. Hopefully I could cut in some other footage if I, if I record some. I, I don't know how I'm gonna do that and drive manual at the same time. Um, but anyway. I'm just going to try to verbally say what I'm doing uh, as much as I can verbally say that's a bit redundant but anyway I'm going to tell you guys what I'm doing uh, as I'm doing it when, when I'm driving hopefully you guys can envision this and now I'm doing it in the real world not just telling you so it'll be a little bit easier to tell you guys what's going on and hopefully you guys can uh, can understand what I'm saying right now just to kind of give you guys everything I uh, all bits of information we are sitting still in neutral and the e-brake is down and the reason we're sitting still is because my right foot is on the brake now I'm going to go ahead and get my left foot on the clutch, put it in first, get off the brake, give it some gas, just a little bit, let off the clutch very slowly, and we're still on the clutch, and now we're off the clutch, still in first gear, and we got a stop sign coming up here, hopefully the lighting is not going crazy right now, and we are still in first gear, you can kind of hear it going up, put the clutch in, now on the brake, put it back in neutral because we are at a stop here and it looks like nobody's coming back into first gear actually we're gonna go left so same thing put some gas in there and then started releasing the clutch very slowly right there I'm kind of forgetting to say everything because I'm so used to this it's such like a second nature but we just shifted uh, so I'll go over that again 
Let's go ahead and go to a standstill. My neighbors are probably thinking I'm a lunatic, but anyway, back into first gear with the clutch in. We are gonna give it some gas, barely clutch out. Now we're rolling, a little bit more gas, a little bit more clutch out. Now rolling, clutch in, put it into second gear, and then slowly release the clutch, and then apply some gas again. You do not put the gas and the clutch together when shifting, that's only getting off. Uh, you guys probably know that, but it's worth uh, mentioning, so you, none of you guys are messing up your transmissions. But anyway, I'll go ahead and do that again, and say that again. We are now, um, I'm gonna go into second gear. I'm gonna go cover some more on downshifting as well, but right now let's just talk about upshifting just so we're not all over the place. So we're in second gear doing a pretty low speed turn here. Let's go to second, uh, from, uh, from second to third. So there we go, the RPMs are building up. Clutch in, into third, slowly clutch out and then continue with the gas. But you take off the gas when you're shifting. Let's go ahead and turn right here. I'm gonna downshift. Again, I'll talk about downshifting in just a second a little bit more. So, again, driving, clutch in, into third, slowly clutch out. That, that uh, is very simple, but I messed it up a lot when I was learning. I mean, you're not gonna stall when you're, when you're cruising already, but it's not gonna be smooth at all. You're gonna go jerking back and forth. That didn't sound good. Anyway, you're gonna, you're gonna, shoot, I should really watch what I, what I say when I'm talking to YouTube. It, it's, you guys make everything dirty. Anyway, uh, sorry, I'm getting off track. When we're shifting back from second, clutch in into third, slowly clutch out. That could be very, not so smooth, you could say. Um, the way you can make that a little smoother is the same trick I told you guys when starting off. Okay, by the way, uh, I just shifted again. Let me, let me go ahead and put it back into third. To, to shift, let's go take a left here. To shift from third to fourth or any gear smoothly, here's a little trick. We're, I'll just wait till I need a shift here. Clutch in into fourth, give it a little bit of gas, just barely, not, and then off the clutch. It makes it, you're kind of sustain, or you know, it makes it a little smoother because you put the clutch in, or give it some gas to sustain it, I guess is the word to say, during the transmission, or during the shift. That way it's not going back and forth and it just, you know, rocks the whole car. Uh, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead, go back to third, just do it again. Uh, so give it some gas, clutch in, into fourth, give it a little bit of gas, only if you need to, and then slowly clutch out. You'll know when you need to, just when you start doing it enough, you get a feel for it. It's just something that really can't be said. That's pretty much all there is to shifting up. Clutch in, you're off the gas, clutch in, you shift, and if you feel like it's gonna be unsmooth, give it a little bit of gas, kind of feather the gas and clutch. And that's how you shift up. Now let's talk about shifting down. Not too complex, but uh, it can be if, if you make it. So let's just talk about it. Okay, so we're in third gear and we're gonna need to go back to down to second. So clutch in, into second, and we were going slow enough there to where we could slowly release the clutch and we're fine. Uh, it, nothing too complex there. What you guys might know of, or might not, and it's okay if you don't, I'll explain it, is rev matching. That, all rev matching is, is you shift down while the clutch is engaged, you give it gas to make the RPM uh, match to where you uh, the transmission will accept the gear better. Uh, let's make that make sense by doing it in the real world here. And go take a left. We are uh, we just coasted in neutral, by the way. There's two ways to slow down. We're just going to talk about downshifting first, and then the easier one, which is just coasting. So we just we're taking off now in first gear. Clutch in, shift into second give it a little bit of gas, kind of slowly release the clutch, makes it a little bit quicker and smoother. And then clutch in into third, release the clutch very smoothly. We're gonna go all the way into fourth to where it's a higher gear. Now what I'm gonna do, fourth gear is too high of a gear here, and I'm needing to slow down. So clutch in, give it a little bit of gas, and then release the clutch, it's a lot smoother. You probably noticed not a lot of roughness um, during that. If I were to just release the clutch very quickly, that would have been really, really, really bad. Not smooth, not so great for the transmission. So that's pretty much what rev matching is. It's just you put the clutch in, put it down a gear, rev it while the clutch is still there, just a little bit, sometimes a lot, but mostly just a little bit of, of a rev. We'll do it again here. Into fourth, even though I shouldn't be, and then I need to slow down. So clutch in, rev it, and then third gear should be good here, and I'm off the clutch, and we just coast like an automatic car. Time to shift again. Clutch in, you upshift. Once you're rolling, guys, let me tell you, it's actually a lot easier. 
getting going is uh, is where you can, that's the challenge. Uh, and you just need to be disciplined to challenge yourself. Because uh, once you're rolling, trust me, it's not difficult at all. So now we're actually coming from third to stop without shifting. And the way I did that was I just put it in neutral. Um, so let's do that. That's that's downshifting. I'll, I'll do or that's uh, that's rev matching. I will talk about that a little bit more in just a second. But right now, let's talk about another alternative to that, and that's just we're in second gear. Let's go to third, and now fourth, and we are going to go ahead and have to slow down here. So what we could do is clutch in, put it in neutral, and then we just stop. And uh, I actually do need to stop here because I need to wait for someone. So now we completely stopped from fourth gear down to zero without shifting down. We simply just uh, put it in neutral and coasted. It's just like an automatic transmission. Then you have to put it back into gear when you're ready to go though. And you can also do that even if you're not coming to a complete stop. And here's what I mean by that. So we're rolling out third gear, now fourth gear. And we are needing to slow down, but we're not going to stop this time. So what I'm going to do is clutch in. We're in neutral. We're just coasting. And when it comes time to put it uh, to give it some more gas, we're going to need to find a gear. And third gear should be good here. So clutch in, back into third gear, and we're good. I hope that made sense. So that's that's pretty much it, guys. I pretty much told you guys everything. But uh, but why just stop there? Let's do a little bit more rev matching just because it's, uh, it's kind of fun. And that's how you get the fastest laps around a track. Uh, the automatic transmissions, a lot of them will do it for you. If you hear about automatic rev matching, you could downshift, like pull the paddle in a Ferrari. Uh, this is exo Exotic Cars 19, uh, so we should talk about some exotics. So a lot of the dual clutch, or not even just dual clutch, just the paddle shift transmission, the automatic exotics, when you downshift, it, you hear the throttle blip up like crazy. That is the rev match to where it can shift that fast and it's not that crazy, you know, jerky or anything like that. Um, so if I'm gonna go ahead and rev match here, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear it. Completely smooth, I rev matched. Uh, it's also known as heel-toe downshifting if you use your heel and your toe. Uh, toe on the brake to slow down and then heel to uh, to blip the throttle. I don't do that in this car because the, the pedal position is just not great for it in the BRZ. All I do is just put the clutch in, blip some throttle, and it's good. So guys, that's pretty much it. And I know that probably doesn't mean a whole lot because that was a lot of information from someone who does, or if someone doesn't know a whole lot about manual transmission or knows nothing, that was probably a lot of information. Um, hopefully you guys picked something out of this and watch this video now. Go try it and watch this video again, then try it and watch other videos. And pretty much what the biggest tip I could tell you, along from just give it some gas and then let off the clutch just to kind of give you more of a safety net, uh, along with that is once you're able to get rolling pretty consistently, just drive. Uh, maybe not on like the public roads yet. You, you're going to know best uh, when, when you're good for that. Uh, but the biggest thing for me, other than that little trick with the clutch and the gas, um, once I was good enough to where I was rolling around and like, able to drive around my neighborhood with low traffic fairly confidently, or not confidently at all, but I was able to do it, that's when I started to drive a lot more. And I, and I didn't go on any busy roads. I simply just drove in my neighborhood. I came to stop signs. I got rolling again. I only got into third or maybe fourth gear like I did today. And in fact, where I was driving today, that's where I learned how to drive stick shift. And it was very low traffic. So just start driving, do it once every day or something. And then repetition is gonna be what makes you very, very smooth. And by doing that within a, within like the next week, I was already in bumper to bumper traffic and I didn't really feel that nervous about it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I think I covered everything. If you guys think I did not, or if you guys would like me to touch more on something else, let me know and I will get on that. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, maybe got something out of this. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.